Windy Darling lived with her two little brothers. Taking good care of John and Michael, she was like their mother. She'd tell them bedtime stories about Peter Pan and Captain Hook. The adventures she invented were much better than a book. The boys would put on plays and with their swords pretend to fight in hopes that Peter would come to their window one cold night. One night, when Windy told the story just before the end, Peter Pan appeared with Tinkerbell, his fairy friend. I'm looking for my shadow, Peter Pear said. It's slippery and black. And when they found it, Windy sewed it onto Peter's back. You're great, Windy, said Peter Pan. You've got a gentle hand. Why don't you come take care of the lost boys in Neverland? They all flew above trees and clouds, and Peter Pan then said, It's easy flying. You just have to believe it in your head. In Neverland, you'll meet Indians and mermaids that can sing. With a little bit of fairy dust, you can do almost anything. When they reached Neverland, they landed safely on a cloud. Below them, they saw Captain Hook, his voice raging out loud. It's me! Prepare the cannon! I will capture Peter Pan! Peter Pan told Tink, take the kids as quickly as you can. Tinkerbell took the darling children to a big house in a tree. It's where the lost boys lived and hid from Captain Hook and Smee. It's time to meet some friends of mine, said Peter. Take my hand, Wendy, Michael, Don, meet the lost boys of Neverland. She's here to be your mother, boys, and read stories every night. So please behave yourselves and treat our visitors just right. Then suddenly a boy yelled, Peter Pan, you must come fast. Captain Hook's got Tiger Lily and has tied her to the mast. Peter Pan was always quick to help a damsel in distress. In a sword fight, he beat Hook and saved the Indian princess. Peter and his friends took Lily to the Indian nation. The big chief thanked them all and there began a celebration. They danced around the fire and on cakes and sweets they fed, till Wendy said, Come on boys, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> The next morning as they woke, they could not believe their eyes. Right outside the tree house was a terrible surprise. Captain Hook was waiting there and quickly grabbed them each. He took them to his boat which had been anchored on the beach. Tinker Bell flew off to Peter Pan to give the news. He rushed to save them right away. There was no time to lose. Captain Hook tied all the kids and hung them in a cage. You'll come with me or walk the plank, he waved his hook in rage. Then Peter Pan appeared. Release my friends immediately. His sword swung to and fro till Captain Hook fell to his knee. Hook cried, I'll let them go, but I'll get you, Peter Pan. Peter smiled and said, You'll have to catch me if you can. Wendy said, This is the best adventure that we've had. 
But now it's time to go, for we all miss our mom and dad. They said goodbye to everyone and flew home hand in hand. And to this day, they dream of Peter Pan and Neverland.